Good morning, and welcome to morning prayer on this 17th Sunday after Pentecost. This Sunday, when we keep the paternal feast of the Holy Cross. I am Father Tim, the rector of the Church of the Holy Cross and St. Stephen's Pro Cathedral. Thank you for joining us as we pray morning prayer according to Rite 1 of the prayer book on this Lord's Day. And now, friends, let us begin our prayers. You will see in the uh, more information on this YouTube premiere, there is a bulletin link that you can click on and follow, upon, follow along with the uh, service of morning prayer this morning. If you don't have that already, I encourage you to, uh, to get that bulletin and follow along with us as we pray together. Morning prayer, right one. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. O come, let us adore him. We continue with the Pascha Nostrum. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead, and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. We continue now, friends, with the Psalms and readings for this morning for morning prayer. We read Psalms 93 and 96 as the Psalms for this morning, after which we will read the readings and the canticles, the readings that are cited below the citation for this morning's psalms. The Lord is king. He has put on splendid apparel. The Lord has put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the sound of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. Mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure, and holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever and forevermore. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. 
Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence, O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. When he comes to judge the earth, he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Second Kings. One day Elisha was passing through Shunem, where a wealthy woman lived who urged him to have a meal. So whenever he passed that way, he would stop there for a meal. She said to her husband, Look, I am sure that this man who regularly passes our way is a holy man of God. Let us make a small roof chamber with walls and put there for him a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp, so that he can stay there where, whenever he comes to us. One day when he came there, he went up to the chamber and lay down there. He said to his servant Gehazi, Call the Shunammite woman. When he had called her, she stood before him. He said to him, Say to her, Since you have taken all this trouble for us, what may be done for you? Would you have a word spoken on your behalf to the king? or to the commander of the army? She answered, I live among my own people. He said, What then may be done for her? Gehazi answered, Well, she has no son, and her husband is old. He said, Call her. When he had called her, she stood at the door. He said, At this season in due time you shall embrace a son. She replied, No, my lord, O man of God, do not deceive your servant. The woman conceived and bore a son at that season, in due time, as Elisha had declared to her. When the child was older, he went out one day to his father among the reapers. He complained to his father, O oh, my head, my head. The father said to his servant, Carry him to his mother. He carried him and brought him to his mother. The child sat on her lap until noon, and he died. She went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God, closed the door on him, and left. Then she called to her husband and said, Send me one of the servants and one of the donkeys, so that I may quickly go to the man of God and come back again. He said, Why go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. She said, It will be all right. Then she saddled the donkey and said to her servant, Urge the animal on, Do not hold back for me unless I tell you. So she set out and came to the man of God at Mount Carmel. When the man of God saw her coming, he said to Gehazi his servant, Look, there is the Shunammite woman. Run at once to meet her and say to her, Are you all right? Is your husband all right? Is the child all right? She answered, It is all right. When she came to the man of God at the mountain, she caught hold of his feet. Gehazi approached to push her away, but the man of God said, Let her alone. 
for she is in bitter distress. The Lord has hidden it from me and has not told me. Then she said, Did I ask my Lord for a son? Did I not say, Do not mislead me? He said to Gehazi, Gird up your loins and take my staff in your hand and go. If you meet anyone, give no greeting, and if anyone greets you, do not answer, and lay my staff on the face of the child. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave without you. So he rose up and followed her. Gehazi went on ahead and laid the staff on the face of the child, but there was no sound or sign of life. He came back to meet him and told him, The child has not wakened. When Elisha came into the house, he saw the child lying dead on his bed. So he went in and closed the door on the two of them and prayed to the Lord. Then he got up on the bed and lay upon the child, putting his mouth upon his mouth, his eyes upon his eyes, and his hands upon his hands, and while he lay bent over him, the flesh of the child became warm. He got down, walked once, to and fro in the room, then got up again and bent over him. The child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. Elisha summoned Gehazi and said, Call the Shunammite woman. So he called her. When she came to him, he said, Take your son. She came and fell at his feet, bowing to the ground. Then she took her son and left. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with Canticle 4, the Benedictus Dominus Deus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Epistle of James. You must understand this, my beloved. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. For your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness, and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror. For they look at themselves, and on going away immediately forgot, forget what they look were like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being not hearers who forget but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. If any think they are religious and do not bridle their tongues but deceive their hearts, 
their religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with Canticle 7, the Te Deum Laudamus. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty. Thine adorable true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, Thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. A reading from Luke. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, What then should we do? In reply he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized. And they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what should we do? He said to them, Do not extort money for, from anyone by threats or false accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. As the people were filled with expectation, and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah. John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations, he proclaimed the good news to the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, friends, as we prepare to offer our intercessions and thanksgivings as we pray. You see on your screen that there are the prayer lists for our collaborative ministry at this time. The first being the list for prayers for healing and the second being the list of prayers for the repose of the newly departed. As we offer our prayers at this hour, 
I encourage you and invite you to add anyone for healing or repose whom you hold in your heart that is not yet on our list for prayers. I invite you to add them to our prayers at this hour by adding their names and the intention for which prayers are desired into the comments, either on YouTube or Facebook. And know that I will be reviewing those comments and I will add them to the prayer list for future prayers from those comments. You may also email me, fathertimothya at gmail.com, F-A-T-H-E-R-T-I-M, O T H Y A at Gmail dot com. Among these ones that you see on the list, we pray for the repose of Father Graham Cliff. Uh, retired priest of our Diocese of Bethlehem who died this past week. A good man and a good priest. And we pray also for the repose of Bishop John Shelby Spong, formerly the Bishop of Newark, Arguably, perhaps, one of the most controversial, if not the most controversial, bishop in the history of the Episcopal Church. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Let us pray. We pray first the feast day collect for Holy Cross Day. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world unto himself. Mercifully grant that we who glory in the mystery of our redemption may have grace to take up our cross and follow him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. We pray also the Matins Collect for Sunday mornings. O God, who makest us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of thy Son, our Lord, grant us this day such blessing through our worship of thee, that the days to come may be spent in thy favor. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray also the Matins Collect for Grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, 
defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that we, being ordered by thy governance, may do always what is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we offer our intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for healing throughout our communities, across our country, and throughout the world. We pray especially for healing for those who have been commended to us and to our prayers. Praying for the servants of God, our brothers and sisters, Abigail, Addie, Adelaide, Antoinette, Bob, Brian, Birgit, Bruce, Caron, Carrie, Charles, Charlie. Charlotte, Connie, Dan, Darlene N, Darlene R, David, Deborah, Dennis, Dawn, Donna, Ed, Eric, Florence, Francis, Frank, George, Helen, James, Jeannie, Jeff, Jerry, Jim B, Jim F, Jim G, Jim L, Joan, Joanna, Joanne K, Joanne R, Joey, John F, John H, Father John W, Joe, Joseph, Joyce, Judy, Julie, Karen, Kathy, Keith, Kevin, Kim, Kaya, Laura, Lena, Leonard, Leroy, Lindsay, Lisa, Lloyd, Lou, Louis, Marge, Mark, Mary B, Mary Y, Mary Ann, Michael, Mike K, Mike M, Nancy, Natalie, Nathan, Paul, Paula, Pauline, Pete, Pastor Richard, Ricky, Romaine, Rosaire, Rose, Father Roy, Ruth, Sandy, Sean, Shane, Sharon, Sherry, Suzanne, Tanya, Tia, Tina, Wayne, William, Wyatt, and Zach. We pray also for the repose of the newly departed, especially we pray for the repose of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, Yorworth Jones, Shirley Dezenko, Bill Davis, Georgina Carson, Tom Barnick, Marion Miller, Father Graham Cliff, Bishop John Shelby Spong, George, Helen, Laurie, Sarah, Scott, and Stephen. We pray also for our frontline heroes and our first responders, for all who are instruments of healing and peace in our world and in our communities. We pray for the leaders of our nation and of all the nations. We pray for peoples in lands torn apart by violence, strife, and warfare. For those who have suffered from natural disasters, including those in our own land. We pray for the faithfulness of the church in our own country 
and across the whole world. We pray for the ministry of all of the baptized, for all of our brothers and sisters in Christ throughout the world. And we pray for the ministry of those who have been raised from the baptized to be deacons and priests and bishops and pastors of any type. We pray for those who need to hear the proclamation of the gospel this day, those who have never heard and those who have forgotten the wonder of the gospel and of the love of Christ. We pray for Bruce and Jay chosen and ordained deacons in Christ's Holy Catholic Church. We pray that God will give to these newly ordained many years a faithful ministry in the church and in the world. We give thanks for our families and friends. We give thanks for our parish families, our collaborative ministry family of St. Stephen's and Holy Cross. We give thanks for our diocesan family here in the Diocese of Bethlehem. We give thanks for all of the blessings of God that we have received in days past and that we trust to receive for all of the days that God gives us breath and life. And we give thanks and we pray for those whom God brings to our hearts and minds attention, some for reasons that we know and some for reasons that we know not. We complete our prayers with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of you thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you, friends, for joining us for morning prayer on this Lord's Day. Keep in mind that the Sunday liturgy will be premiering at 7.30. Keep in mind also that between the two parishes of our collaborative ministry, there will be a right one spoken liturgy at Holy Cross, uh, at St. Stephen's at 8 o'clock. A right two spoken liturgy at Holy Cross at 9 o'clock. And a right to sung deacon's mass at 10.30 at St. Stephen's. Thank you for praying with us this day. And blessings to you and to yours, now and always.